Despite all the hidden stats in this game, you'd expect one of the few shown stats to be accurate, in this case the weapon damage. These numbers have always been clear since Breath of the Wild, where if you attack something with the 10 damage sword, you would deal exactly 10 damage to an enemy. And this specific example applies to both games, as one-handed weapons are true to what they say they are. But where things get odd is with Tears of the Kingdom spears and two-handed weapons, where the shown number does not equal the actual damage these weapons do. In a sly attempt to balance the game hiddenly, all spears have an exaggerated shown damage stat, meaning that they show higher than what they deal. While all two-handed weapons have an under-exaggerated shown stat, meaning that they deal more damage than their stat shows. Let's take this royal spear for an example, which shows on the weapon page as dealing 18 damage, when realistically its true damage that is actually dealing to the enemy is only 13, significantly less than what's shown to the player. This is due to a hidden, controlled multiplier that all spears have, where the true damage is multiplied by 1.33 to come out with an exaggerated number of 18, which is the stat that you see in your weapon. This multiplier is apparent for all spears, so even for this soldier spear, its true base damage is only 7, but after being multiplied by the exaggerative multiplier of 1.33, its shown damage will be 10, which is the value that you see in the menus, and therefore the value that you think you're dealing. This is a very odd concept to be done though, but a big reason for justifying this false exaggeration is that not as many people would use spears if they were seeing the low damages they actually do, as most don't account for the insane speed and value of them, especially during charges and flurry rushes. A similar system is set in stone for two-handed weapons as well, except these numbers are slightly under-exaggerated from what they actually deal. For an example, a Royal Claymore shows itself doing 34 damage, when in actuality it deals 36, and it gets there by multiplying its 36 base damage by 0.95, and this multiplier is true for all two-handed weapons in the game. Considering how much the fanbase used to gravitate to the two-handed weapons over spears, these hidden altercations do make sense in order to suggest more variety in options even if it's kinda lying for our own benefit. The math behind this really isn't fun though, considering there's a more elaborate calculation process for weapons with attack up modifiers and or fuse parts, along with there being a hidden rounding rule for all this, where all spear calculations always get rounded up to further exaggerate, while all two-handeds get rounded down to further under-exaggerate. It's very annoying, and would be tedious to do by hand for everything. However, there is actually a full weapon calculator for the game, where you can pick any weapon and attachment available to visualize its shown damage and its true damage, which is a really nice way to see the true stats behind your favorite spear and two-handed weapon combos in the game. This calculator was made by Echocolat, along with the research on the system that I used to make this video. Breath of the Wild had it, so either the Champion's Tunic or Divine Helmets would show enemy health stats while you wore them which is likely why they removed this feature for Tears of the Kingdom, as this would reveal the lie of the false weapon numbers instantly. So this does make things a tad awkward and slightly disappointing. So as a general rule, most of your spear weapons are actually dealing around 25% less damage than what they show, and your two-handed weapons deal roughly 5% more, which is a good way to just eyeball things. Thank you all so much for watching this mini-episode of Stats of the Kingdom. And in the near future, we'll cover much broader systems, as I'm currently almost finished with the game, so it'll be much easier for me to look into things soon. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one. Goodbye!